Hello heroes, Joe Smith here. Just staying out, enjoying the nice cool air. Really nice out right now. Got a good breeze going on. Wind's actually starting to pick up. Seeing some lightning out to the northwest. Uh, just checked radar on the phone. Got, looks like some rain coming in from Kansas, uh, southwest Missouri, northeast Oklahoma. Uh, of course, Joe Smith here is in northwest corner of Arkansas, or Walmartville area, uh, just outside the uh, metro area, out in the Ozarks, or Mark Twain National Forest area. Um, been hearing a lot, been seeing a lot on the news and YouTube, a lot of Dine and Dash. You know, when you go to a, like, sit-down restaurant where you, like, sit down and waiter comes, orders, takes your order, and then when the food is cooked, the, the waiter or waitress, although I guess, uh, the ladies prefer just be called waiters nowadays versus waitresses. Um, most of them, but whatever you prefer be called waiter, waitress, don't don't matter. But these people go to these restaurants, order like a whole bunch of food and drinks like beer, cocktails, or sodas, pop, whatever you want to call it. And... After, like, being there an hour and getting refills and desserts and appetizers and all this stuff, uh, the, the waiter, the wait staff, will, like, hand them the ticket or that for the payment. And then, of course, just say, yeah, whenever you're ready, uh, just let me know or just place your card or the payment in the little booklet thing. They you should have a little book, booklet thing. Probably be all fancy in that. Um, and these people, uh, then after they get done eating and drinking all that stuff for an hour or more, uh, just kind of usually get up and casually walk out the door like they left the payment or cash or whatever in the booklet thing. And, and, walk out the door like uh, like they paid. In fact, uh, a couple of years ago, two or three years ago, Joe Smith here was at a local Buffalo Wild Wings and the table next to uh, Joe Smith. Joe Smith was just there eating by himself. And the young uh, uh, waiter, waitress girl, uh, really nice really nice young lady, like a college age young lady, was uh, had taken care of that table and Joel Smith had just sat down. She just kind of had the menu and took the drink order and went to get the drink while Joel Smith was looking at the menu. And then uh, Joel Smith kind of noticed a couple guys at the table Next to him, uh, they laid some cash down on the table, like for a tip, on top of the little booklet thing, and got up and left. And Joe Smith really didn't think anything of it, because she had just handed them the ticket as they were finishing their meal. And then she came over to hand Joe Smith the menu and take the, the drink order of that. And while she was doing going to get the... Uh, ice water. That's what Joe Smith usually drinks when he goes out of ice water. Uh, but, and she came back to uh, take the order, and she had walked over to that other table, grabbed the booklet and the tip, and then realized that there's no money or payment or anything inside the booklet, just like a $5 tip on top. And then she kind of ran up to the front counter there and 
Joe Smith just kind of didn't really think much of that at the time. And then I guess she ran up to see if maybe they paid at the front counter because they had register at the front counter by the front door there before you go out the front door. And then she come back and it's like that that table over here, that next table over, they just stiff stiffed us or that. They left like a five dollar tip I guess, but they they didn't pay for the meal. And it's like, wow. Sorry, didn't realize. Otherwise, would have Joe Smith here would have like got up and like tackled them or something or that. But it's just kind of wasn't really paying much attention to them. Just happened to since they were like straight forward, straight across forward from Joe Smith. Uh, just kind of glanced up a few times and and I see them talking, didn't hear what they were saying and seeing them lay the booklet down the table and seeing a guy open up his wallet and pull a, a dollar, didn't know if it was a dollar bill or five or ten or twenty or hundred or what, but just pulled a, a bill of some denomination out of the wallet and lay on top of the little black uh, booklet. And then they just kind of normally got up and Walked out like they had the, like they had paid, like you'd already taken their credit card or something, and was just giving them the receipt, and and so Joe Smith kind of felt felt kind of bad for her, and left her like an extra, like a, about a ten dollar tip or that, just to kind of cheer her up or that, but she's like oh worried like she's going to get fired or something or or taking out her check and I don't know if restaurants do that or can do it or and or if it varies by stage or have no idea, no clue. Never been a waiter before. But just she was such a nice gal. I gave Joe Smith really really friendly service, really great service. Even after after that happened, Joe Smith's just kinda of telling her like God I don't let it beat you up, uh, cheer up, and this and that, and, and just try to be real polite to her. And gave her a nice tip afterwards, and some words of encouragement, and and put a, put a good smile on her face. But this is actually, dining and dashing, I guess, is becoming a huge problem. Uh, I haven't really heard much of it over the years, just a little bit now and then. But nowadays, it's like almost constant, like daily, hearing about daily, another YouTube clip daily. Um, maybe it's always happened this frequently, but just was never reported by the news or something. Or maybe with all the uh, nonstop news coverage and YouTube and Internet and, and anything and everything that happens nowadays, everything and anything that happens is getting put on the Internet for the world to see. Don't know. Maybe that's it. But sure has heck been hearing a lot about dining and dashing. Even even uh, some restaurants are hiring armed security even. It's getting that bad. In fact, it's gotten so bad. I just saw a video, a news video clip. Um, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, yes, the city of blue voters. Go figure, something like this would happen in a Democrat city. That voted for Biden, but... Um, but that's another story. But just saw this news clip a little bit ago. Decided to finally do a video about this. Saturday night, last night, is Sunday night now here. Or almost midnight now. Joe Smith's time. But last night, Saturday night, um, about uh, 11, 11.30, about this time, last night in Philadelphia, or in Philadelphia time, so, um, some, uh, uh, this group of diners did pull off another dine and dash. 
And even though, you know, some of you might say if you saw the news clip that uh, this particular group matched the description of the usual suspects, you know, there's been there's been a lot of white people dining and dashing too, so I'm not trying to turn this into a race issue, probably and as many or more white people are doing it, but uh, this particular group last night um, kind of took off, walked out the restaurant or something, and I guess the, the young gal, the, the waiter gal, or waitress gal, um, realized that they hadn't paid and followed them out the restaurant and, and ran towards the car that they're getting into. And these people, men and women both, actually grab the the gal, the waiter gal, and and pulled her into the car. They kidnapped her. They committed felony kidnapping. This this waiter waitress gal chasing these uh this group of men and women, um, four or five people, something like that, out of this, uh, out of this restaurant, uh, and they, like, grabbed her and pulled her into the car with them, and then drove off with her in the car. Yes, this group of people committing just a dying dash of, like, a misdemeanor that most police don't even bother with now. They just tell you right off on your taxes or something. Uh, and don't bother prosecuting, arresting, or following up on it, or trying to figure out who done it or nothing. Well, they could have easily just gone away with it, never been charged, and or nothing like that, but they turned it into a felony, felony kidnapping, and they kidnapped the waiter gal, they drug her into the car and drove off. Luckily, luckily, fortunate for her, they get down the street, get down the road a mile or two or something, and I guess they slowed down a bit and shoved her out of the car. She was hurt a little bit. I uh, guess she got some medical treatment. She survived. She's okay. I uh, awfully shooken up for that. Uh, so she's, she's probably going to quit her job now and go work somewhere else. But that's the point it's getting to. This dine and dash bullshit is getting to the point where places are closing, places are hiring armed security, uh, and wait staff is even being kidnapped and assaulted. Uh, they, the news video says she was assaulted in the vehicle, they didn't say sexually assaulted, they just said assaulted, so apparently they must have hit her a few times or something like that in the car as they were driving off and then just shoved her out the car down the road and drove off. And they'll probably still not really get charged with anything. They probably won't even get charged with the felony kidnapping charge. Because it's a liberal city, and it was, you know, oppressed people. So, pretty sure, pretty, pretty sure this waiter gal was just trying to oppress them further by forcing them to pay for their food. But, man... Just crazy, crazy times, crazy, crazy stories. It just gets crazier and crazier. Never, never heard of a wait staff member at a restaurant being kidnapped before, before Joe Biden became president. That is, you didn't hear about this when Trump was president. All you heard about when Trump was president was made up lies and stories about Russian collusion and and letting foreign people stay in his hotel or I'm pretty sure those people even paid the normal fee or something. But 
It's like nonstop for four years. Democrats trying to pin this Russian collusion stuff on Trump, and but he never heard of no other crime. And now Biden's president and Walgreens in San Francisco Bay Area are closing because they're getting robbed like ten times a day, and the police there won't do anything. Or if a police officer there happens to be like a Republican police officer and they happen to arrest someone or a security guard. Just saw a video of Walgreens uh, in California, a uh, shoplifter loading up a garbage bag full of stuff while a security guard and other patrons stood there and videotaped it. And they ran on by and the security guard didn't even do nothing. Because if he did, he probably would have got arrested and charged with assault or kidnapping or attempted murder. You know, just like Joe Smith here did several years ago, stopping an armed robbery, using his firearm to stop an armed robbery at store. Joe Smith got arrested and, and charged with aggravated assault and attempted murder of the Two armed robbers. Charges were later dismissed and dropped after, you know, ten thousand dollars and legal fees and and bankrupting Joe Smith and and force almost forcing Joe Smith to close his business and lose his home and become homeless over it. Because a first responder, a medic, and former military uses firearm that he's legally, lawfully allowed to carry to stop an armed robbery. Found out later that the armed robbers are never even arrested. And they're just let go, told to go home. By local Bend County Sheriff's Department, but then again, uh, just after that, the state police arrested the uh, Sheriff Kelly Craddock, and he got charged with tampering with that evidence and felony charges and stuff like that. But because he was a cop, he pleaded to a misdemeanor and just got some probation. Never did any jail time. In fact, normally it would take like ten hours to get booked in. in to the Ben County Jail and then uh, 24 to 48 hours for a bail hearing. His bail was set before he even walked, before they even took him in the door. They had him fingerprint and picture taken and bailed out in five minutes. That's how crooked local cops are here. But he was later arrested, fired, had resigned, whatever, because of that arrest. Uh, pled guilty. And then the beginning of last year uh, was killed in a uh, car accident. Single person car accident. I mean, he was charged with beating his wife after losing his job as sheriff, and the wife was charged with stalking children, walking home from school. And several other members were also charged with various crimes, including sexual assault of minors at that Benton County Sheriff's office, but uh, sorry for rambling on, bringing up some other stuff here, but just you know, police want us to back them up, and yes, there are a lot of good police departments out there. Uh, Joe Smith's been sending emails to. 
several different police departments, uh, mostly in Florida, after seeing videos on YouTube where Joe Smith thought the officers done a fantastic job, or that, like the officers that were involved with that shootout with that 14-year-old girl and, what was he, 11 or 12-year-old boy? Uh, Joe Smith sent uh, made a little thank you card, electronic thank you card on the computer, emailed it to them. Uh, just say, say, hey, cheer up. Thank all your officers. Done a wonderful job. I know it sucks to be in that situation. Uh, Joe Smith's praying for all the officers involved here. Uh, never heard nothing back from them, but a couple other uh, sheriff's departments uh, in Florida or elsewhere that Joe Smith sent email letters to uh, saying that just happened to see this particular video on YouTube, sent a clip of the video on YouTube to them so they knew what Joe Smith was talking about. Said, wow, you're, it looks like you got some really great officers. They're really, really nice officers. Really great, fantastic. Uh, it's like uh, one of the videos, uh, they saved some kids, some children that were being, like, abused and neglected and locked up in their rooms uh, with, like, dirty diapers and, and no food and not being bathed at all. And they were, like, screaming out the windows for the neighbors to save them. And the neighbors called the police and the, the uh, sheriff's department ended up having to break the door down in the middle of the night because uh, the dad and the mom refused to open the door and let the deputies come in. So, uh, so Smith seen that and, and sent a really nice letter to the, looked up that sheriff's department website and they listed an email, like a direct email for the sheriff, sent an email directly to the sheriff and he responded back this uh, county in Florida, I forget the name of the county or the name of the sheriff, but he's been mentioned in some of these, several other YouTube videos for that here recently, and and videos with uh, Governor Ron DeSantis for that as well. So, But he uh, responded back with a really, really nice thank you letter back to Joe Smith here. And he, he really appreciated the letter, said thanks for taking the time to write your kind words, something like that. And then he said he personally commended each officer or deputy involved. He even listed the deputy's names or their last name, same way as deputy so-and-so, deputy so-and-so, deputy so-and-so that were involved with that incident. And he said he... Um, forward a copy of Joe Smith's letter to each deputy and then uh, place a copy of Joe Smith's email in each deputy's permanent file even and said that it was really nice to get like positive feedback from someone even if they're in another state just saying that their deputies are doing a wonderful job so that's really cool there are like some really, some really great officers out there. And I think they're getting some better ones around here now, too. I think they kind of got rid of all the crappy ones, and they got some better ones, or getting some better ones around here now, because I haven't been hearing uh, anything bad in local news from the Ben County Sheriff's Department now the last couple of years. Uh, the new sheriff in town kind of, Clean house. Well, oh, thanks for listening. Sorry this went on for so long. I turned into a bunch of other topics or whatever. Um, everyone have a good night. Joe Smith signing out.